Now that we're close to open beta, if you just stumbled on this game, these are 15 things you need to know if you're a noob in Winds of Fortune. Now let's get started. Alright, so the first is going to be the Witch's Wardrobe. All of us are going to spawn in as a male or female. It's completely random from what I understand. So when you want to change anything and everything about your avatar, this is the place to do it. And if you turn over here, this is Daisy. If you want to start purchasing clothing, this is where you do it right here. Keep in mind, as you progress through the game, you'll also be able to craft clothing as well. Second is going to be the Treasure Emporium. This is where you sell any chest that you do not want to open. If you click E, you can sell the chest right here. If you come back from a mission with the crew or even solo and you got, let's say, 10 chests on your ship, you can select this button right here sell all chests so you don't have to go back and forth each time third is going to be rusty's general trading store you're mainly going to be purchasing ammunition and chest keys here among other things azure key is going to be for your uncommon chest sovereign key is going to be for your legendary chest royal key is going to be for your rare chest and common key is going to be for the common chest and every other chest additionally you can also sell items here at rusty's now you can sell anything from bananas as you can see here all the way to weapons weapon enchantments and seashells another cool thing to keep in mind is for example i got four of these seashells right Right here if you left mouse button click you get the little option to select how many out of the four that I want to transfer over so let's just go ahead and slide it over to two I hit confirm only two transfer over I'm gonna get ten doubloons if I just want to bring all of them over here just right mouse click and they all go over you don't get the little dialog box for the quantity and you can see here now it's gonna be 20 doubloons fourth is gonna be the cargo merchant this is where you're gonna sell all cargo items such as barrel of goods explosive barrel weapon shipments fishing crates ship materials canned goods processed wood exquisite vases, exotic vases, and animal cages. And in addition to that, this is also the place you're gonna sell your delivery mission contracts to, as you can see right here. The fifth is the ship, right? As you can see right here on Castaway's Retreat, it's Harbor Master Shan. Here you can purchase a ship, you can buy ship decor, you can customize your ship, restock your ship if you need more ammunition, you can repair your ship if you get sunk. And the last thing I would add is you can purchase different ships at different outposts. Six is gonna be enchanting, repairing, or crafting a weapon. So right here, you can see we got the weapon enchantment table. You get enchantments, Currently from opening up chest. I don't want to say what chest because it may change here shortly, but just keep in mind at the moment we get them from chest. You're going to see every weapon has a durability. Mine has 100 out of 100 right now, but if it had, let's say 80 out of 100, the way you sharpen that durability is by pulling out your weapon and selecting E to repair weapon. Seventh is going to be Perry's Armory. This is where you're going to purchase weapons and crafting kit. So if I go ahead and select what have you got for sale, I'm going to select the Iron Warhammer here. And if you look to the right, you can see it has PVE damage of 30 to 50 and PVP damage of 21 to 34. So make sure you pay attention to this as well as the level you need in order to use this weapon now if i scroll down further here you're going to see we have the beginners the novice the journeyman and the master's crafting kit now the higher level weapon you go you're going to need a different type of kit and in some cases even multiple kits eight is going to be gasper's galley this is where you're going to come to cook some pork some chicken you can make a fruit bowl you get a grilled banana skewer and grilled fish at the moment now these are going to be beneficial for your hp if you're getting killed by the undead or you're getting bodied by some other pirates okay so that happens sometimes so you got to be prepared the ninth thing is going to be the mission board so from left to right we have your treasure treasure hunts right here. This is going to be the best thing you can do to collect resources. In the center, we have your undead hunts. This is going to be the best thing you do to collect XP and level up fast. And over here to the right, we have your delivery slash cargo missions. This is going to be the best thing you can do to collect doubloons. Now, something I want to point out, if I go back to my treasure hunts, you can see if I select E, none of these three missions have a golden border around them. But if I go to my undead hunts, two out of three have this golden border. This is an indication of a legendary variant of the mission. That just means you're going to get more XP and more doubloons. And you can see on my delivery cargo missions, missions I got one over here as well so keep that in mind the other thing I want to point out is if you don't like the missions or you want to look for one of those legendary variants and you're willing to pay down here I think your first refresh may be free but after you do that it's going to cost you 2,000 doubloons to refresh from here on out the tenth is going to be the type of trees you can harvest and how to mine you're going to want to look for these trees right here that don't have any leaves you select B to enter your inventory on PC make sure you go to tools make sure you got your wood cutting axe select ET equip it and then you can harvest the tree same thing for mining. You want to select your pickaxe. I have it on my hotbar. Once you approach the mining node, you can click E to start mining. Eleventh is how to fast travel. Make sure you talk to all the ferry managers at every outpost you visit in order to fast travel there in the future. Twelfth is how to sail in the open seas versus the winds of fortune. So when you come up to your mast and you hold this, you want to make sure you move your sail perpendicular to the direction of the wind. So you can see the winds coming in here, and I got full billow on my sail. Now, when sailing in the winds of fortune, so you're going to do the same thing. Rotate your mast all the way as far as I can. That is going to make you the fastest. Additionally, you're going to want to go into tab and double check your settings and make sure that you have auto ship steering in the winds of fortune on. This is going to make sure that when you're going clockwise, 
clockwise in the winds of fortune, which is gonna be this way right here, you stay inside the winds. However, if you're going counterclockwise, which is gonna be this way, you gotta stay on the helm and make sure you steer left and right to keep your place inside the winds of fortune. Thirteenth is how to use waypoints. You have three waypoint symbols right here, but you can only use two at a time. What you wanna do is you wanna left mouse click, hold and drag to your desired location on the map. It's also gonna pop up on your on-screen compass right up here. Let me go ahead and grab one more. There you go, right there. Now, when you wanna get rid of it, all you have to do is hover over it, click one more time, and it's gone. If you feel like your waypoints are not working, but they always end up on the right side of the map, it's because you're clicking on them as opposed to clicking, dragging, and holding before you let go. Fourteenth is when you see a cloud formation just like this, that's an indication of an abyssal gate. There's two of them in the archipelago, one in the pointed rock and one in the pier and peak. If you feel like you're strong enough, kill it for a nice reward. Fifteenth is the fastest way to dig up a chest. Equip your shovel, hit M for map, make sure you zoom all the way in, and then move forward until you're dead center of the X, and then dig. Well, there you go. That is 15 things you should know if you're a noob in Winds of Fortune. Like the video if you found this helpful, and if you want to see more just like it, click that subscribe button. And with that said, I'll see you on the next one.